Reigns, Little Miss Bliss. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. The first woman to ever capture the SmackDown and Raw Women's Championships, Alexa Bliss, the goddess of WWE. The goddess, multi-time women's champion. Foxy time! And from Punta Vedra Beach, Florida, Alicia Fox! Guys, Alicia Fox let me hold her hat earlier tonight, and I don't want to overstate this, but it was the greatest honor of my career. Hey guys, are your soda cups empty? I don't want to get splashed by Alicia Fox again. And to build on that, when it comes to the women's division, I'd say it doesn't get much more exciting than this. You are right, Cole. This one should be great, especially considering the incredible talent level of these women in the ring right now. Behold, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka! And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! She is hypnotic, she is mesmerizing, she is as dangerous as the day is long. Now you are looking at a woman who single-handedly managed to change the entire complexion of the Raw Women's Division. As colorful as she is, threatening one of the most dangerous females to ever step inside the squared circle, the Empress of Tomorrow. From San Jose, California, the SmackDown Women's Champion. Bay you guys ready for the best part? It's a wacky, wavy, inflatable, arm flailing Bailey Buddies. Bailey's brought a new attitude, a new edge, and it brought her her money in the bank and the SmackDown Women's title. Bailey is the first ever women's WWE Grand Slam champion, NXT Women's Champion, Raw Women's Champion, SmackDown Women's Champion, and Women's Tag Team Champion. I know a guy who said Bailey asked him for a hug, and after he accepted, she ended up stealing his wallet. You just hate to see something like that. That's not true. As much information as possible on future opponents, and there's no better way to do that than to step in the ring with them. Look at the look on the face of the Irish last kicker. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Becky Lynch is one of the most beloved superstars in all of WWE, male or female. And one of the chosen few to ever main event at WrestleMania. To some, she's the face of WWE. Well, to some, I am the face of WWE. See? It's not so hard to make comments like that, Cole. To who? What? 
Who sees you as the face of WWE? I was being facetious, Cole, to prove a point. Uh, well, when Becky Lynch wants to prove a point, she does it right in the center of the ring, usually by tapping her opponent out and making them regret ever challenging the man. Which is why, again, some see her as the face of WWE. twin sister Nikki does, but you've got to admit that when she's in that ring, she gives it everything she's got. That's what Brie Mode is all about, Corey. Oh, based on Total Divas, I actually thought Brie Mode was about something else, but uh, if you say so. It's Candice Wrestling! And from Anaheim, California, Candice LeRae! Yeah, such a, a positive energy that Candice LeRae brings to the equation. Listen to this place on its feet for Candice LeRae. You know, Byron, she describes herself as a modern day Mighty Mouse! Yeah, such a, a positive energy that Candice LeRae brings to the equation. Listen to this place on its feet. Things are about to get a little more fabulous. And from Staten Island, New York, Carmella! Hey, I know you hate when I say this, Corey, but Carmella truly loves to have fun. I hate you, Byron, so much. Almost as much as you hate fun? Come on, I'm ready for a dance break. One of these days, Byron, they're gonna shut off your microphone and I cannot wait. I think she's an unbelievable talent. Mella is money. Charlotte may be the best pure athlete the women's division has ever seen. It's hard to argue that statement. Charlotte Flair has backed up every claim she has made since arriving in WWE. It's time to kick things up a notch. And from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. You know what I love about Dakota Kai is that 
She's such an incredibly humble competitor, but then you see her in the ring and you can't help but become a huge fan of the passion and fire she has when she competes. As much as I hate to agree with you, Byron, Dakota Kai is the kind of girl that will disarm you with a smile and then kick the features clean off your face. And many idols that she looked up to in sports entertainment, including one of her favorites, Finn Balor. The first female competitor from New Zealand to make her name at this level. The ever impressive Dana Brooke. And from Cleveland, Ohio, Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke, certainly one of the hardest workers in the women's division always trying to learn new skills and techniques to better her game. There's no doubt she has beauty, there's no doubt she has power, but she also has brains. Did you guys know that Dana Brooke has never lost a match on the same day that Byron Saxton had a date? Really? That's right. Amazing Byron, stat. when was your last date? None of your business. Exactly. Here comes the war goddess. And from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. You can thank Hall of Famer Woo! Booker T for much of Ember Moon's success. Corey, in terms of raw talent, where do you think these women rank as it relates to the other competitors in the division? Oh, they're right there at the top, Cole. Years from now, I think we're going to look back at these women and realize just how lucky we were to watch them compete. That's how talented they are. The genius of the sky. From Tokyo, Japan, Io Shirai! Michael, you had the chance to call Io Shirai's first matches in WWE as part of the Mae Young Classic. Do you have any particular insight to bring to us tonight? Absolutely. Io Shirai is a one-of-a-kind talent, and that's apparent from the second the bell rings. Well, you're absolutely right. In such a short time in NXT, she's already made waves in the women's division with her incomparable in-ring skill and her no-nonsense attitude. Let's see if making waves can lead to making wins and making money, though. There she is, the Pirate! The following Twins contest up. is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Yamaguchi, Japan, Kairi Sane! 
Can we all please just stop with this pirate charade? Uh, ease up, Corey. It's fun. And it's based off Kyrie Sane's actual pro yachting career. Well, I understand that, Cole, but yachting and pirating, two completely different things. I saw her say hi to Bret Hart the other day. A real pirate would have just stolen his jacket. Great ovation for Kairi Sane. Won multiple championships in Japan before coming to the United States as one of the big recruits at NXT before becoming such a major star here. Captivating, charismatic. That is Kairi Sane. Guys, you better get ready for the woman's right. And from Paris Island, South Carolina, Lacey Evans. Some may say she has a bad attitude, but Lacey Evans is as tough as they come, both inside and out of the ring. She's a former Marine who spent five years as a military police officer with a special reaction team. Lacey Evans is the real deal and a real lady. Oh, here we go again. I don't deny what Lacey's done in her life outside of WWE or in that ring, but I just don't think I'll ever understand how cheap shots incurring favor with authority figures are anything resembling ladylike behavior. You know what, Byron? You don't have to understand it. You don't even have to like it. Neither do her opponents. They just have to brace for the woman's right. Corey, your mouth is hanging open. And from Moscow, the ravishing Russian, Lana! You are looking at the true winner of the 2019 Women's Royal Rumble match. Becky Lynch stole her spot, and Lana was never technically eliminated. Lana has led Rusev to multiple title reigns and a year-long undefeated streak. Now she's looking to make history of her own. Guys, a win here would go a long way in proving that she is as good as she claims to be. And on the flip side, Cole, a loss could be very damaging to her long-term goals. The problem child of WWE. And from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv! Morgan! Liv Morgan is back, and now she's real. Huh? She looks exactly like she did before. One of the most underrated stars in the women's division. And I'd say this match will go a very long way in determining just who is WWE's most dominant woman. It definitely will, Cole. But at the same time, whoever wins here tonight can't just rest on her laurels. There's a whole locker room full of women looking to take that top spot. And from Sanford, North Carolina, Lita! Talk about a... A woman who's made so much history here in WWE. Remember when she was the first female, along with Hall of Famer Trish Stratus, to main event Monday Night Raw? And she was such an important part of the Hardy Boys Team Extreme. Oh my God, it's Christmas come early. And 
from Yorktown Heights, New York, Mandy Rose. God created the heavens and the earth, but those were but a prelude to Mandy Rose. Everyone just shut up. We didn't say anything. You're breathing, aren't you? Yes, the first lady of sports entertainment. And from Chicago, Illinois, Maria Canales. Maria Canales has competed against the top women's talent of the last two decades in WWE and ready to teach the new girls a lesson. Saxton, if you ever had a female look at you the way Maria looks at her husband, Mike Kanellis, you would fall over and drop dead. You'd be surprised. I meet a lot of women at the grocery store. We are so lucky to be here for this. And... From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Maurice. We've seen Maurice ensuring the win for her husband, The Miz, as his ringside manager, but you can't forget she has enjoyed multiple championships of her own. Oh, Cole, I never forget anything about Maurice. She is truly unforgettable. One of those reigns was a full 216 days, and I recall literally every moment in crystal clear, perfect detail. Oh, do you? Okay, all right. What did you have for breakfast on day six of her reign, Corey? Easy. I ate French toast in honor of Maurice. The head baddie in charge is in the building. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Fontana, California, Mia Yim. Like her entrance theme states, Mia Yim considers herself the HBIC. Language, Saxton. Well, get your mind out of the gutter, Corey. HBIC stands for Head Batty in charge. No, it doesn't. As someone who also calls herself the Blasian Batty, Yim is essentially putting everyone on notice that none of them are badder than her. I have a fundamental rule in my life. Never trust anyone who gives themselves a nickname, let alone multiple nicknames. Words to live by from the savior of misbehavior, ladies and gentlemen. Multi-time champion, Mickey James. And from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James. A six-time champion. Mickey James, uh, also a talented country singer. Mickey James, talented in the ring, talented behind the microphone. Byron, one of these days you'll find something you're good at in life. Maybe not.
Folks, it doesn't get any classier than Molly Holly. And from Forest Lake, Minnesota, Molly Holly! You know Molly Holly competed in the first ever women's hair versus hair match, and she did it on the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. We do all remember that she lost that hair versus hair match, right? I mean, I wouldn't go around bragging about the time I lost at WrestleMania. And if you were Molly Holly, Corey, you'd have actually made history at WrestleMania. Hey, Michael, Corey, what? It's glow time! I'm surprised you enjoy this this much, Saxton, seeing as how you're afraid of the dark. And from Orlando, Florida, Naomi! It glows like having a nightlight, so it's okay. It's a total mindset that Naomi incorporates every time she comes on her to compete. The glow, the energy, the excitement. This is how Naomi prepares to bring her best self. Saxton, or just a grump. And here comes Natalia. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, no. Product of the Hart Family Dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart Family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Yeah, the daughter of Jim the Animal Knight Hart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart. She's got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. The irresistible force. And from San Diego, California, Nia Jack. Here comes dominance personified. Nia Jax, this is a superstar who comes from a long line of sports entertainers who have built this business. She carries that legacy with her every time she steps inside a WWE ring. That is a woman who looks like she owns the ring. Been so impressed with what this young lady has accomplished in such a short time. Her eyes will lure you in, but her style will destroy you. That is Nia Jax to a T. And representing the Bella Twins from Scottsdale, Arizona, Nikki Bella. All right, Saxton, I know you've been waiting all night to rattle off Nikki Bella's accomplishments, so go ahead, the floor is yours. Well, condescend all you want, Corey, but Nikki Bella is a multi-time women's champion with one of the longest reigns in WWE history. She made a vent at the first ever all-women's pay-per-view against Ronda Rousey, and she and her twin sister Brie have created an empire. Anything else? He forgot to mention Total Divas and Total Bellas. Hey, Byron, 
Here comes your exclusive interview. Yeah, you and Nikki Cross are going to sit down behind closed doors. Uh, I would, but I actually uh, had food poisoning five minutes ago. Cole, how do you expect Saxton to talk to Nikki Cross? He's afraid of the dark. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. I saw her warming up for the match outside the arena a little bit ago. She was licking the pavement. Yeah, actually, True story. that doesn't sound too strange. If Nikki Cross would have succeeded where the big chief failed and thrown the sink out the window and freed all of the whack jobs in the asylum. You should go ahead and do an interview with her. You like one of those sit downs, like just you and her in the back? Uh, yeah, I don't think my microphone works though. Corey, if you were in the ring with Nikki Cross, what would you do? Run? That's actually pretty good advice. Very strange individual. Iconic. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Iconics from Sydney, Australia, Peyton Royce. Peyton Royce, of course, one half of the Iconics with Billy Kay. Hey, do you think Peyton Royce could teach me how to be iconic? I don't think divine intervention could teach you how to be iconic, Saxton. Look, Peyton Royce extremely talented. Her attitude, that's something else. She's been nothing but sweet to me, Saxton. The one woman wrecking ball is ready to roll. She has all the potential in the world. And from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. I planned to speak with Rhea Ripley earlier today, but as soon as... Well, let me guess, she ignored you. Well, she saw me heading her direction, and she gave me a glare that forced me to turn the other direction. As if I weren't already a Rhea Ripley fan, that would have totally solidified it. Rhea Ripley, of course, one of the most intimidating women on the roster, and not just because she made Byron afraid to do his job. I had the opportunity to call her matches during the second May Young Classic, and the pleasure she took in dominating her opponents was truly unsettling. Well, guess what? This business isn't for the faint of heart, and Rhea Ripley is a superstar who clearly understands that better than others. There is only one Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. What a meteoric rise it has been for Ronda Rousey in WWE ever since she debuted at WrestleMania 34 as the tag team partner with Kurt Angle. It's time for some mayhem. And from Lafayette, Indiana, Ruby Riot. 
Ruby Riot's made it her personal mission to make life miserable for everyone born entitled. Everyone handed anything. That do-it-yourself ethos has served Ruby Riot incredibly well throughout her career. Mayhem, havoc, Ruby Riot is here. The backwoods brawler. And from Louisville, Kentucky, Sarah Logan. Brought up on her daddy's tater farm in Kentucky. She used to hunt for a living and then cook the food for her family. That is what Logan is all about. She also lives the Viking lifestyle. She's a direct descendant of Eric the Red. She's been blessed by the gods to be favored in battle. It's boss time! Why do you always say that, Cole? It's not Damn. boss time. It's From always Boston, like someone else does it. Sasha Banks is Sasha. a habitual spotlight steal. Myron, it's always a treat to see Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks has her own swag. She's got her own confidence, and she knows how to back it up. If there's a camera around, Sasha wants to be in front of it. If there's a spotlight out, she wants to be in the middle of it. Sasha Banks once stood in line for the opening of a refrigerator. Corey, I don't understand what your issues are with Sasha Banks. She's one of the all-time greats. You ever talk to her? She's intolerable. Corey's just jealous. He wishes he had half the bling that Sasha has. This superstar is downright scary. As physical as they come. The Queen of Spades. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the NXT Women's Champion, Shayna Baszler. Trained in catch wrestling, a true student of the game, a real submission magician. And she's been a member of Ronda Rousey's MMA for horsewomen, so you know she knows a thing or two about being a winner. You can just look at all of her accomplishments in NXT to know that, or watch her in the ring tonight when the bell rings. Guys, I know the title is not on the line here, but I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a low-pressure situation for the champion. Especially given who her opposition is here tonight. I assure you, there's nothing low-pressure about who she's in there with. Byron, time to put your hair up and square up. Well, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. From Shimong, New Jersey, Sonia Deville. Byron, I would love to see you interview Sonia Deville so she could punch you right in the mouth. I wouldn't enjoy that at all. Sonia Deville is as bad as they come. Disciplined, driven. In fact, the day that Sonya Deville graduated high school, she packed up her car, drove down to South Florida, and began training full-time in mixed martial arts.
Here she comes, the Billion Dollar Princess. The following contest is a fatal five-way match. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, Stephanie McMahon. Sit up straight, Saxton. The woman who signs your paychecks is in the building. Show some respect. I am, I am. Stephanie McMahon has been women's champion, the general manager of SmackDown, the commissioner of Raw. And she even won the Vincent J. McMahon Legacy of Excellence Award. She's the Billion Dollar Princess. Some would say that perhaps her attitude leaves a little bit to be desired. Well, then She's some, the boss. some better find their way to the unemployment line. Well, I'm not me, I'm just saying. Women's division, I hope you're ready for a fight. Tamina is a scary woman. And from the Pacific Islands, Tamina! I can't say I'm surprised to see Tamina come out here tonight in such a bad mood. Actually, I don't know if I've ever seen her in a good mood. Of course she's in a bad mood, Saxton. Imagine walking to the ring to do your job and then seeing your stupid face at the announce table. Oh, ha, ha, Corey. Very funny. Corey, Byron does have a point. I mean, Tamina has always had a chip on her shoulder. Doesn't look like tonight is going to be any different. Rock and roll. Saxton, never say rock and roll again. I beg you. Why? And... From Gold Coast, Australia, Tony Storm. Tony Storm has spent years honing her craft, carving her path to WWE by way of Australia. Time spent in Europe, even in Japan, before arriving in NXT and making a mark. Uh, Tony really turned heads uh, by scoring three victories in the inaugural May Young Classic. Actually went on to win the finals of the 2018 May Young Classic at the first ever All Women's Evolution pay-per-view. Here comes Trish Stratus, one of the all-time greats. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish. Trish knows how to make magic in that ring, especially with her ride or die lead up. Whenever the two of them were in the ring together, whether they were standing on the opposite sides of the ring or working together towards a common goal, something special transpires. As creepy as it sounds to hear you use gangster slang, Byron, you actually have a good point. But just to be clear, Trish Stratus makes magic whenever she's in the ring. It's called Stratisfaction, and it's guaranteed. Zelina means business. And from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, Zelina Vega. You know, Zelina Vega has become so notable for bringing Andrade to the NXT title and main roster success. It's easy to forget that she has some impressive in-ring skills herself, too. Vega has an uncanny in-ring IQ that served her client well, but you know there are a few in-ring secrets she saved for herself that we just may see tonight. Corey, is it me, or does she seem even more focused than usual here? It's not you, Cole. She's definitely looking a bit more focused, which is good, because she's going to need to be if she wants to win this one. 